evaluate uh, uh, Everett Hayes' performance so far? A little, little up and down, I know. Definitely a little bit up and down. Uh, I don't know if it's necessarily a his problem. Right now, it's kind of the whole team's problem as far as, you know, our snapper getting the ball back. The operation needs to be better, right? Mm -hmm. And then if we can do that and he can hit the ball, hit it the, the right way, he's going to have success. So right now, it hasn't just been him missing, missing it. It's been more the whole operation. It's a new long snapper, holder, the whole nine. Mm -hmm. So uh, he's handled it well, uh, but we definitely need to get it cleaned up and that needs to be a weapon for us, you know, our field goal team. So it's definitely something that we've stressed and the protection aspect of it, the whole nine. How often do you work on like end of game or time, you know, in where you got 10 we, seconds and we, you're running out? We do it twice a week. Okay. We do it twice a week where we, we're doing a field goal for a whole five minutes and we're working on protection and then we do the, you know, the, the quick field goal and stuff like that. So we do work it every week, at least twice a week. Have you seen the same production that we've seen in games during those drills, or is or is it more accurate and more reliable in those uh, moments? To be honest with you, it's actually been more accurate. To be honest with you, cool. um, but uh, you know the, the whole operation just needs to tighten up the protection, the snap, mm -hmm. the the hold, right? And then if we get all those the way they're supposed to be, then mm -hmm. then then if he's not making them, then that's a different story. But mm -hmm. but but it's been a the whole process. Sure. So he's not necessarily working on anything to be more accurate. He's just his normal self, and you're working on it. Yeah, he, and, and I mean, he doesn't miss him in practice. <laughs> so, you know, it's kind of – he's been on point in practice. We put him in those pressure pos positions. He's hit him. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm, I haven't lost confidence in him yet. Mm -hmm. But, um, like I said, we just – we, we got to get into a game and get into a situation where he feels comfortable when he has to start knocking him through. We need to protect him, the whole operation, and get it the right way the way it's supposed to be. What pieces of that operation, you know, you brought up the holding, the snapping, and blocking. What, what about those things aren't working right now? Is okay, well, a couple the times. Snap quick the snap, no, the snap is being good. Sometimes it's not where it's supposed to be. Uh, sometimes the hole is not where it's supposed to be. You know, kickers are, you know, kind of frugal as far as, like, they want the laces a certain way. you got to have the timing of it. You want to get that ball up at 1.2. Sometimes the snap hasn't been as fast. Um, the placement. So all that, all that is all a part of making an extra point or a field goal. And when you go back and look at tape, you, you know, it's easy to point the fingers at him, but you go back and look at the tape, it's a bad snap or a bad hold or there was too much penetration, the protection. So once all that stuff's right, I think that he'll have more success. Speaking at of what point in the season do you start to shuffle who's snapping or who's holding? Well, we already made that, we made that shuffle. Um, so our last game, um, uh, Jackson started. Um, so that was the one change we made, and last week was decent. Uh, he did miss the one. You know, he was close. He got his leg on it, and it's like that much. He hit the pole, you know, so he, he's closer. Uh, but like I said, if the operations are there, like they've gotten better, and the protection has gotten better, then he has to start making them. Yeah, what, speaking, what, what, of, uh, speaking of Jackson Robinson, what did you like from him on tape that you that you saw in his well, first he, start? And then what do you think he needs to improve on going forward? He did a good job. He did a great job. He, he's a kind of a bigger kid in protection that helps out. Uh, he gets it back there quick. Um, but but he, he definitely did a good job. He, he was I wouldn't say he was perfect, but he was better than it's been. So I felt like that was the thing to do at that point. And uh, we gave the, the other guy a chance. And, you know, he's up and down. And, that's kind of where it's at. You said you still have confidence in Everett, and, and I do you know everything. So, like, I guess you know this isn't the first time he's sort of been up and down a little bit. I guess mm -hmm. in his career, but so what gives you that confidence? What do you like about what he brings to that role? I mean, he has he has even when he's not even when he's struggling, he doesn't he still shows confidence mm -hmm. as far as he doesn't get down on himself. He doesn't you know obviously he's upset that he misses it, but he just shows me that he's uh, you know confident in what he can do. Steady. Uh, yeah, and, and when you when you talk about he's had issues before in the past, that was last year. Like, I wasn't here last year. Sure. So, I mean, I'm going for where we're at. And right now, it's, like I said, it's been a struggle. It's something that we've addressed. Mm -hmm. and, and going forward, hope, hope for positive things. And then if not, then we go from there. He's got a big leg. He does. He has a gr great leg, and yeah. he gets the ball up uh -huh. quick, you know. The one against Oregon that got blocked, it was more of a operations deal, mm -hmm. right, because it really didn't get blocked. It, the, the snap wasn't where it needed to be. He kicked it low, and it actually hit one of our guys. It didn't hit that guy. It hit the mm -hmm. back of one of our guys. And I could easily say, you got to get that ball up. But if the, the snap's not where it needs to be, that's hard. The timing of it is big and, and when you're kicking field goals.
the snap, the hold, what are the best ways of correcting that? Is it just drill it, drill it, drill it? Or? You got to drill it or get the guy who can do it in there right, <laughs> the right guy, you know. And it, it, even even the, the guy who was in there that hasn't been snapping great, he, ha he had a great camp and he won the job, right? And he get, got in the game and it wasn't where it needed to be. So uh, we made a change. Everett's taken two from 50 yards or further. What do you feel like is his sweet spot? Uh, to me, to me, right now it's about 50 right now. I know he can hit further, but until we can get the 30s and the 35s, I don't even think about the rest of it. Like, go for it on fourth down if we're not where we need to be. Um, I do feel like once he gets his, you know, gets his groove, he can hit it from 55, 60. But right now we're not there right now. He is at practice, but in the game we'll have to see. What do you like about the rest of your special teams units? I mean, they, they play hard, man. They're attentive to what's going on. Um, we've, we've been pretty solid on everything that we've done. Um, uh, I like the athletes we have. And, and I think we're, we're still getting to know each other, new, new coordinator and guys like that, and they're, they're buying in. Uh, that's the big thing to me. They buy in, and I feel like uh, more big plays are, are going to be coming. If you were to uh, have to name like a special teams MVP for the first month, is there a name that like jumps out at you? Well, pro probably Josh Green. I think he's really hitting the ball real well right now. Uh, yeah, I would say Josh Green probably. Yes. Mm -hmm. And well, that that unit got off to an interesting start. One hundred percent. What right. or, but yeah. since then? One hundred percent. They responded. They've done real well, man. They uh, we got against uh, Oregon. Oregon had done some good things. They bottled up their return, and I thought that was good. And um, we just got to continue to get better. Like. It's as simple as that. We have an opportunity to be extremely good on special teams. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I, I want to make sure that we are making more plays in the kicking game and the whole nine. On, on a similar note, who do you think is kind of the unsung hero of special teams for you guys right now? Uh, Probably the coach. No, nah, <laughs> nah, nah, I'm just out there. You know, it's all about the players. I mean, we got so many guys, you know. Uh, I will say that uh, Samisi, he's actually here. He's done a great job. He's our shield, you know, on our shield, and he, he directs that punt team. and. I do. I put a lot on those guys to make the calls to get us in the perfect, perfect calls. He's done a great job with that. And in those, you brought up going forward on fourth down. When those decisions arise, how involved are you with with kind of making those choices? Do you kind of have like a say of no, we we can't. Coach want to go for it. He's going to go for it. Mm -hmm. It's time to throw a special teams unit out. That's what we're going to do. So sure. yeah, I don't make those decisions. I just roll with it. For sure. Yeah. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.